I'm Tabitha Lupian, and I'm a producer, writer, and actress on season one and two. Hi, my name is Joanna Saul. In season one, I was an actor, director, and producer. And in season two, I will be producing, writing, and acting. Hi, I'm Regina Pandiva. I did writing, set deck, hair, makeup, wardrobe, and I guess other things. Hi, I am Erica Nanato. I am a first time writer and director for season one. I also help produce and executive produce. And for season two, I am going to direct and act. I'm Leanne Noel Smith. I'm an actress and producer. And in season one, I helped by editing, producing, directing, acting, and post production. I'm Megan Warby. I'm a producer and writer for season two. And I'm also producing this show. Hi, I'm Victoria Kuchar, executive producer, writer, director, actor, producer, and more of season one. Hi, I'm Melanie Grace. I did behind the scenes for season one before I was a collective member. Hi, I'm Megan Miles, and I was a writer, actor, and a director on season one. Hello, I'm Bridget Ori. On season one, I was a producer and an actor. I did some wardrobe and a lot of contracts. On season two, I'll be acting, executive producing, and maybe directing. Oh, hey, I'm Alicia Richardson. On season one, I was a writer, director, and an actor. On season two, I'll be writing and acting. Hi, I'm Celeb Calderon of Counterbalance Collective. First season one, I was producer, production manager, production coordinator, first AD, and actress, amongst other fun things. Hi, I'm Matilda Davidson. In season one, I was an executive producer, director, an actor, a production manager, an AD, hair, makeup, wardrobe, craft, etc. And in season two, I will be producing, directing, acting, and production managing. Hi! Hi! <laughs> Hi. Hi, I'm Konima Parkinson Jones, and I'll be a director and actor in season two. And I'm Carrie Kwong. I'll be a producer, writer, and actor in season two. Thank you all so much for joining us. Konima and I will be your hosts for this evening. Yes. <sighs> Welcome, everybody. <laughs> So our premiere is going to start in a few minutes. It's a few minutes away, but in the meantime, let's uh, get to know each other. <laughs> we know you could be doing anything right now. And um, anything? We're well, we know you're <laughs> dreaming about doing anything, <laughs> particularly anything right now. I mean, there's Sudoku and chill. There's starting on some sourdough. Oh. You could be um, crocheting a snazzy new hat for your puppy. You know, it's getting cold out. And what, what, you know what the point is, is that we are so happy that you're spending time with us. And um, we're just thrilled to have you here. <laughs> Absolutely, we are. And if you don't know who we are, if you don't know who we are, we are Counterbalance Collective an independent film collective run by and for women. We're actors, directors, writers, producers, and so, so much more. About a year ago, we got tired of waiting for a magical key into the industry. So we gave ourselves the tools and created this community to make our dreams a reality. What you're seeing here now is just a glimpse into the behind the scenes of our season one production. We're so excited to share our work with you. Thank you for being here. So, well, hello. hello. You know, our viewers, we know you're all thinking about it. It's a premiere, and there's a virtual red carpet, and, well, yeah. no red carpet's complete with that iconic question. What are you wearing? Well, here's our response to that age-old question. <laughs> so well, what are you wearing? my super fuzzy comfy slippers you know because well stilettos are medieval torture devices <laughs> yep <laughs> fair enough i should probably take off my torture devices right now <laughs> in about 15 minutes or so yeah yeah <laughs> Well, hello there. I'd hello. love to know what you're wearing. 
I am wearing clothing because I don't need to be naked on screen to boost ratings. I couldn't agree more. Could not agree more. Thank you for wearing clothing <laughs> and keeping us child appropriate. Yeah. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. What are you wearing? What am I wearing? Yes. Well, I am wearing a tribute to all the artists, all the collaborators, and everybody at home that's supporting us. Thank you guys so, so much from the bottom of our hearts. <laughs> Well said, very well said. Thank you so much. Yeah, we wouldn't be here without all our supporters. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Gorgeous earrings. Can you please tell me what you're wearing? Honestly, who cares? This event has nothing to do with my outfit. So let's get back to the show. <laughs> okay. You're right. You're absolutely right. Thank you for that. Let's get back to the show. So, um, well said, everyone. <laughs> we are tonight, we are celebrating a series of um, fantastic firsts. With this anthology, we had six of our members who were first time directors. Fun or not so fun fact, 10 years ago, Catherine Bigelow was the first woman to win an Oscar for Best Director. In 93 years of the Academy Awards, there have only ever been five female nominees and one winner. Hmm. That's not acceptable. It's time to change that. Yeah, yeah, I couldn't agree with you more, Carrie. So let's congratulate these amazing, amazing first time directors who've already heard from Erica Nonato, who directed tonight's film. Um, and now let's hear from others in the collective. Hi, Alicia Richardson. Um, we're very curious about what or who inspired you and what influenced your directorial concept. Uh, first of all, hey, how y'all doing? Uh, <laughs> secondly, so as far as my concept, the two biggest influences were Jane the Virgin and Insecure. So in terms of comedy, I love broad comedy and I love a touch of absurdity. I've never been a fan of strict naturalism because I feel like real life is naturalistic and it's very boring that way. So the biggest things that I wanted to achieve is I wanted to sort of straddle the edge between devastation and hilarity, you know, almost at the same time. And uh, I, I, I think I've achieved that. <laughs> so uh, that's basically no easy for me. a little bit of a little bit of slapstick, a little bit of uh, flights of fancy, and these cool imaginary sequences. And uh, Bob's your uncle, as you say. You make it sound so easy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you but so much. But that's amazing. Thank you. Hi, Diane Aguilar. Please Hi, tell us what were your influences? I actually didn't really have too many influences. It was the artists around me. Like the reason why I wanted to direct, a I think any artist is always searching to level up or do something scary. And I thought that this was something that was a little bit out of bounds for me, you know, beyond my bounds. And I want to do it with someone who I trusted, a really badass group of girls, women. And uh, that's pretty much why I wanted to do it. I, as a storyteller, you always want to level up and experience new ways of telling stories. Yeah, yeah. Amazing, thank you so much. Hello, Megan Miles. Hi, how are you doing? Good, how are you doing, love? Oh, good, good. I would love to know what has influenced you as a director. Um, to be honest, I was super inspired by our fellow coll um, collective member and the writer of the piece, Tabitha. It was such like a labor of love from her that I just wanted the whole piece to feel like it, it kind of poured out of her, her bubbliness, how bright she is. And her her insane intellect. So I really was just inspired by the person she is and what she created. And also um, from all the directors that came before me, I just wrapped it all up in one little package and tried to pour it into this. 
Amazing. Thank you. Well, congratulations. And uh, we can't wait to see yours in upcoming uh, series. Thank you very much. <laughs> Hello, Hello, Joanna Saul. Hi. <laughs> Hi, always a pleasure. Please tell us what was your inspiration as a director? Well, for my film in particular, my inspiration actually came from the women of the collective because when we started this group, we were all, or a lot of us were primarily actors and we were just sick of waiting around for an opportunity to come our way. So we, decided to take control and make our own opportunities. And honestly, the amount of drive and perseverance I got to witness while we were creating nine films in nine straight days was incredible. And yeah, the watching everyone kind of like own these roles that they had never even done before and take these huge leaps and support each other, it was like, the best motivation and inspiration I could have asked for. So yeah, that's what inspired me. And I think, and I hope that that made my directing day go well. Um, I don't see how it couldn't, honestly. Um, that was beautiful. Thank you so much. Thanks. Hello. Hello, Matilda, Matilda Davidson. And Nima Parkinson Jones, how are you? <laughs> Oh, I'm doing good. I'm having fun. I hope you're having fun too. <laughs> I'm having a great time. I'm having a awesome. great time. <laughs> so please, please, the first time director, what has influenced you? Well, I'm sorry. I'm going to have the same answer as many of my previous uh, first time directors. Um, you know, there are plenty of female directors just generally that inspire me creatively. And uh, I feel like I should shout out a few. Um, Celine Siama is amazing. Karen Kusama, um, Michaela Cole. I don't know if you can see, but she's actually oh, she's actually on my wall over here. Maybe that's I'm trying to peek in wow. like I can actually see. Oh, I, oh yeah. You see yeah, her? Okay. Anyways. Oh, I, I see love her. her. I see. I see her. Yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, these those are all amazing women, and you can't not think about them when you're trying to do something like this. But yeah, as Joanna and I believe Miles and many others said, what really inspired me to do this was just my fellow collective members because, you know, I wasn't really sure if I wanted to direct. It kind of was a last minute choice. And um, really seeing everybody else just kind of rise to the occasion and be so willing and so ready to just learn on their feet um, really jazzed me up and inspired me to give it a shot. And I'm really glad I did because I really loved it. And, um, you know, that was the biggest and nicest surprise of all. So thank you guys. Isn't it amazing what can happen when people are given opportunities? It sure is. Yep. Thank you. Thank you so much, Matilda. Thank you. <laughs> <Ooh. laughs> wow. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that was amazing. That was pretty inspiring. And um, as us uh, season two people, that we have a lot to look forward to. Yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's um, interesting too to see how many of the themes were about, you know, so much about teamwork and collaborating and uplifting each other and stuff. And it just shows that the importance of really when creating a project, how working together and making sure you have each other's back is so important. Definitely. Uh, so moving um, on. Yeah. Um, so uh, <laughs> last year, these first time directors and the larger casts and crews shot nine films in nine days, over nine long ass days. Um, how? Uh, lots of carbs, little sleep, and uh, anyway, the result is our film, Closed Doors. Um, it is our anthology, Closed Doors, where you'll discover the private truths hidden behind public personas. 
Yes, and we are so excited to share these films with everyone. And thank you all for being here with us tonight. By tuning into our premiere tonight, you are supporting us. And when you like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, you help make indie film possible. So please follow us. Okay, well, let's keep going. Over two dozen artists from around the greater Toronto area came together to create what you're about to see tonight. Tonight's premiere event includes our first film, All Too Perfect, which was written and directed by Erica Nonato and stars Bridget Ori and Nabil Ayoub. Let's take a moment to say hello to the team. Hello. Hello, hello. Erica. Hi. Hi. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm good. I'd love to um, hear about your experience with All Too Perfect. What's your most treasured memory from set? Oh, man. Um, honestly, I'm like holding back tears right now because I'm so happy that it's finally out um, a year out. Like we worked on this for nine, nine days, like right after the other. And, and All Too Perfect was one of the longest days. So I think just seeing a lot of people come together um and really again like everybody said step up to the plate and just have this community it, it felt like a community uh come together and it was just magical i had so many lessons that day and i think that's that's what i will take out of it is all the lessons i learned how to be a director step into my power which was really scary i was really intimidated um just directing nabil and bridget because they're beautiful beautiful actors but they made it so easy for me and we made it <laughs> like we just made it and i can't like thank everyone enough like there's so many people that don't know how many people are actually behind the film and you won't actually know how much work it is until you actually do it so yeah yeah, yeah i just I, I don't know i'm just so proud of us i'm proud of everybody that hopped on everybody that was willing to just give us their time their energy their passion um mm -hmm. and the fact that you know if we can create a safe space like this everyone can and everyone can do and really just just do it you know it's absolutely it's amazing yeah amazing yeah. thank you so much for sharing that with us no worries <laughs> Bridget wow. Ori. <laughs> Erica. I know. I'm going to cry listening to her talk. Uh, <laughs> I'm not going to make it through. <laughs> Bridget, tell uh, us what your uh, favorite memory from the set of All Too Perfect was or is. Well, honestly, I, I have to echo what so many people have said about being so inspired by the whole team. It was just uh, really a dream to get to work with everybody and watch everybody learn. Working with Nabil was really a gift too. He's a really um, supportive, giving actor. Uh, and the subject matter was heavy and it was nice to have such a lovely partner. Um, but really the big thing for me yeah, is Erica. Um, her trusting me with a script that was her, her first time writing and her first time directing, um, and now I'm gonna cry too. It was just, um, it was just such a gift to do that with her and to watch her step into that position, and and take charge and also still be supportive and loving and and help all the anxieties that an actor has. So uh, yeah, that Erica was um was an inspiration that day. Amazing. Well, I just hearing you talk about it, I'm like, let's just get to the screening. I want to see. I know. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Well, we're so excited to watch your performance and thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Nabil, welcome. How are you? Thank you. I'm good. How are you? Wonderful. Thank you. <laughs> I'd love to know what your uh, most treasured memory on set was for All Too Perfect. Well, uh, I mean, I have to echo everything everyone was saying. Um, it was such a pleasure to work with such talented and wonderful people. Um, and uh, it made it so much easier to work with uh, all the uh, all the people on set. Um, but uh, my treasure memory is the the level of humor that was on set because it is such a heavy subject matter. To have everyone just crack a joke here or there and 
and just keep it light and uh, breezy. It was really you know, lovely. And uh, Bridget is such a wonderful team partner. Um, it was such a pleasure to work with her. She's so generous. Um, and Erica, I love you. You're, you're so wonderful and uh, cheering up. Um, <laughs> and uh, uh, yeah, it was just so wonderful. She uh, she just brought out so many uh, wonderful uh, um, things in me that I didn't know I had in me. And uh, it, was, it was a beautiful time, let's say. That sounds incredible. And I would echo yeah. that the energy on a set makes the world of a difference in the eventual product as well, too. So really, really excited to see your performance in this. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. Uh, an honor. Amazing. Well, thank you so much, Erica, Bridget, and Nabil for being here. Um, before we keep going on, I'd love to uh, take a moment to thank you uh, to one of our official drink sponsors, or our official drink sponsor, actually, uh, Mascot Brewery. Mascot Brewery actually also provided our venue for our season one fundraiser last year. So cheers to you, Mascot, and thank you all for being here. Um, hope everyone has a drink. <laughs> uh, over to you, Kanima. Thanks, Carrie. <laughs> and an extra special thanks to all our season one sponsors. We couldn't have made our first um, anthology without you. So don't forget, please, if you're enjoying this, to like, follow, um, watch us on all our social media platforms at Counterbalance Collective. And we'd like to share um, updates and um, also upcoming news on our next anthology. You can find all of that information on our uh, social media platforms. <sighs> so, yeah, we're just seconds away now from the screen. Oh, all too perfect. I'm Thank so you excited. so much to everyone. <laughs> Yeah, I'm so excited. Thank you to everyone who has joined us this evening. We're sure you're going to enjoy it as much as we know we will. And we'll be back briefly after the film um, just to have a final farewell. And so here it is. <laughs> enjoy. All too perfect. Thanks for coming. See you soon. Hello. Hello. <laughs> well, nobody died and there was no fire. So we did it. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that? It's Julia. Ah, your new girlfriend. Oh yeah, she's the love of my life. What did she say? I haven't read it yet. Is she okay? I'm sure she's fine. There were a lot of dings. Babe. Sam. She's fine.
So, how's Julia? Good. What? Password. What? On your phone. So? What is it? I'm not hiding anything. Then why the password? Julia just wanted advice. We aren't talking about Julia. This conversation is happening because of Julia. And also, you went through my phone? When? I didn't. I'm sorry. You tried to look through my phone. It was a valid reason to. It was a private fucking conversation. But you can't tell me? No! You seriously can't even clean properly? Ow! <sighs> Ow, babe, it's too tight. It needs to be tight. As tight as possible, right? So I am wrapping it tight. Stop the bleeding. As tight as your fucking lips. <clears throat> Stop being delicate. Fuck off! I'm sorry. Why don't you trust me? It's not that. Then why the password? Julia just wanted to keep the conversation private. I'll remove the password.
Wow. Wow. <laughs> Well, everyone, we hope you enjoyed, enjoyed tonight's screening of All Too Perfect. Wasn't that great, Kanima? Ah, uh, yeah, that was that was amazing, Carrie. Um, yeah, everyone at home, um, be sure to mark your calendars for January sixth. That's our next live stream. Yes, it's going to be a double header with two amazing shorts from our first anthology and more engaging chats with the creators. So we hope to see you then. Yes. Bye. Thank you, everyone. Thanks so much for tuning in. Bye. Bye. <laughs>